Chernobylite. Is it is it Chernobyl or Chernobyl? Anyways, Chernobylite is a story-driven survival horror RPG base building open world FPS taking place in a fully 3D scanned Chernobyl environment. That's a lot of genres. Originally an early access game, it was fully released on July 28th of 2021 for the PC and will be released on Xbox One and PS4 on December 7th. It was developed by Farm51 and published by All In Games. What it does right. The setting is bleak and dreary, conveying a fully realized post-apocalyptic Chernobyl. And with a post-apocalyptic abandoned setting, that means a lot of overgrown foliage, and it is done beautifully. The maps are smaller, but condensed and well thought out. There are varying options for play style. You can do stealth, run and gun, you can utilize traps, shoot from long range, etc. The actual gameplay and the shooting feels really good. Some people may be intrigued by the intricate storyline that they've developed. I really like the way the game implemented leveling up skills. Instead of simply going into a menu and adding a new skill to your character, you actually go into the field with a skill trainer and perform a small task that represents the ability you are learning. It's kind of a silly and easy process, but I really like the concept. And finally, the game is well priced at only $29.99 US dollars. What it does wrong. The game tries to do way too much and doesn't really excel in any specific category. The gameplay loop becomes monotonous after a few hours, plan mission, enter map, complete objectives, and return to base, over and over again. The maps are well thought out, but not varied enough to retain interest after a few run-throughs. Weapon customization is great, but limited to only a handful of options. The same goes with base building. It's a great idea, but ultimately the options are limited and you will end up mostly building one of each crafting station and placing a few other items to meet the base's livability requirements. Their survival aspects are simply a few status bars that you consume items to quote unquote heal, just as more useless micromanaging in my opinion. The enemy AI is laughably bad. And finally, I personally found the story to be a little drawn out, convoluted, and I lost interest after a short while. My opinion. I feel like the game tries to do everything and does none of those things exceptionally well except the setting, graphics, and the shooting. Everything else is average to below average. I think the game's main saving grace is the price point, and I would only fully recommend this game if you are a fan of the quote-unquote Soviet punk style type games like Stalker and Metro. All in all, I give it a 6 out of 10. I'd like to thank everybody for stopping by and checking out the video. It's a new format I'm trying out for people who want a quick bite-sized review of games maybe they're on the fence about or just generally interested in. My goal is to keep these videos as short as possible with just the essential information that people may need with no filler and fluff. If you like the video or you have any critiques, I'm always open to being better at these things. So definitely let me know down in the comment section. Of course, if you like the video, smash the like button and... Hit that subscribe if you want to see some more. Thanks, have a good day.